Welcome to another YC Weekly. Bienvenidos al semanal del canal juvenil. I'm Yvonne. And I'm Jerron. And today we'll be talking about chocolate. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Are you listening? I am loving your enthusiasm, Jerome. Mm -hmm. Me too. Chocolate is widely known as a sweet and delicious delicacy and can serve many purposes. We got that right. For those of you that may not know, chocolate originates from the cocoa bean, also known as grano de cacao in Spanish. The cocoa bean came from central Mexico all the way through northern Costa Rica. It is usually accepted that the Mayan civilization first discovered the cocoa bean as early as 900 AD, developing from southern Mexico to El Salvador. They learned that the beans inside the cocoa pods could be harvested and formed into a delicious liquid by using cocoa beans, chili peppers, and water. The Mayans began to call it chocolatul, which means bitter water. The Mayan civilization didn't have sugar back then, so they had a much bitter and spicier form of chocolate. It can be said that the Mayans were the first to create a chocolate beverage. They were so thrilled with it that they began consuming it at marriage and religious celebrations. Anyone could eat it, no matter what their social status was. Food of the gods is how it was looked upon, and it was revered in temples through painted images. It was also used for healing properties. Chocolate? Chocolate! They truly knew what they were doing, didn't they? They sure did. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can see that. Yep. The Aztecs later rose to power and began using chocolate as a form of currency. They had their own name for it, quite similar to the Mayans version. They called it Chocolatil. Eventually, the Aztecs conquered the Mayan civilization. The Mayans had to pay them with chocolate tribute since the Aztecs couldn't make their own. The Aztecs even believed that cocoa beans came from Quetzalcoatl, the god of wisdom. Between the years 900 and 1400, other Mesoamerican cultures in Southern and Central America began making it. They stirred it up, roasted, and grounded cocoa beans into a paste. They mixed the paste with water, vanilla, chili peppers, and among other ingredients to prepare a frothy chocolate drink. Thus, chocolate tool eventually changed into chocolate, the word we all know and many of us love today. Chocolate! 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 Chocolate started becoming well known around the early 1500s when Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés conquered the Aztec civilization. He brought plenty of cocoa beans back to Spain. They began to drink cocoa for energy and health. During this time, King Carlos V introduced it to Europe's royal courts. Interestingly, the Spanish weren't huge fans of the original taste and chose to sweeten it by adding sugar to the recipe. Chocolate began spreading throughout Europe by landing in the French courts with King Louis XIII. His son helped popularize it allowing the first chocolatier to open in Paris in 1659 by David Shallow. England was also introduced to the chocolate in the 1650s and Italy followed suit in the 1690s. It is a bit unclear when chocolate first appeared in the United States, but it has been highly speculated that through trading goods that chocolate eventually landed in North America. The Industrial Revolution changed the way chocolate was made in the 1700s. Chocolate was no longer served to the elite, it was made for all. Once the 1800s hit, chocolate was being made by many different companies. Jerome, what do you love about chocolate? Man, if I wasn't on a diet, mm, I would eat this every day. I can never say no to a Hershey milk chocolate Ooh. bar or a, or a crunch or, I don't know, whatever they got. Wow. Hmm, I'm glad you brought that up, Jerome. For instance, Mexico's most famous chocolate bar is Carlos Quinto, named after King Carlos V for, as mentioned earlier, introducing the delicious taste of chocolate to Europe. This helped lead to its global status. Carlos Quinto has been distributed worldwide by Nestle. Ecuador's Bacari Chocolate is highly acclaimed as being the first chocolate company to receive a biodynamic certification. Biodynamic meaning there is an ethical approach to farming. Among others is Costa Rica's La Iguana Chocolate, a small family farm that provides unique tours through their tropical rainforests and chocolate processing. Wow. In Europe, Belgium is one of the most well-known chocolate makers, with Godiva Chocolatier as their leading chocolate product since 1926. England 
also created its famous piece of chocolate named the Kit Kat in the 1930s. Italy's kind of surprise has also made its global impact born in the 1970s. It is hollow egg that it contains a toy inside. Recently, Italy created another version of the sweet named Kinder Joy, releasing it worldwide in 2014. Switzerland didn't stay behind, as it also created the famous Lint chocolate. In the United States, there is a wide variety of chocolate sweets. Snickers was introduced in the 1930s and was widely known for its slogan, you're not you when you're hungry. Mm-mm. <laughs> hey, seriously, you gonna help or what? You know, you're a right pain when you're hungry. Have a Snickers, will you? Better? Better. You're not you when you're hungry. Nestle's 1934 Crunch Bar was a huge success, and soon after, the Hershey Chocolate Company was born in 1984. Four. Today, it has popular attractions like the Hershey Store and New York City's Times Square. Chocolate is widely used in popular culture. Arguably, it is the most popular gift for Valentine's Day. Other holidays in which chocolate is crucial to have are Christmas and New Year's Eve celebrations, where it is common to drink delicious hot chocolate, eat chocolate chip cookies, and give chocolates as gifts. That's a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Do you want some? Go ahead. Thanks, buddy. No problem. I got you. It's also been mentioned in songs. One of them being Mexico's popular children's song, Bate Bate Chocolate and Sabes a Chocolate. Chocolate. That's the one you do the, the thing to, right? Oh yes, you could do whatever you want, you know? It's your chocolate. <laughs> this tasty treat is also used in films and television series. One of the most commonly known movies is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the 1994 film Forrest Gump delivers one of the most iconic quotes of all time, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Television series The Simpsons has an episode dedicated to chocolate titled The Land of Chocolate, where Homer imagines a sweet land. As seen in previous clips, SpongeBob has his own episode called Chocolate with Nuts. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? <laughs> and just remembering that just brings a chuckle to us. Many psychologists have associated chocolate with happiness. It can boost your, help boost your energy levels by producing endorphins. Endorphins are brain hormones that help prevent depression and other disorders. Also, as reported by Psychology Today, chocolate can lower your blood pressure and improve learning and memory. For example, in the Harry Potter series, chocolate is used as a cure if you're attacked by soul-sucking creatures named the mentors. They feed off your happy thoughts and leave you with the most terrible experiences of your life. J.K. Rowling herself has stated that the mentors are a metaphor for depression. In the series, chocolate is the best antidote against a dementia attack. Some negative aspects of chocolate are that it may turn into a bubbling fat. Isn't that right, guys? Sorry, chocolate has sugar and sugar turns to bubbling fat. See what I mean? It may also cause acne to some people, trigger headaches in people who are prone to migraines, and contribute to lower bone density. Chocolate is not bad to eat, but it is advisable to watch out how much and how often you consume it. Well, guys, thank you for joining us once again on another segment of YC Weekly. Bueno, chicos, gracias por acompañarnos otra vez en otro segmento semanal del canal juvenil. Oh, Crunch cheers. Time.
It was widely known for its slogan, you're not you when you're hungry. Mm-mm. <laughs> Nestle's, Nestle's 1930, wait, hold up, sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh Yo. <laughs> Nestle's 1934 <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Wait. 